Welcome to KSA Data Vision YouTube channel. In this video, we'll talk about cloud computing and we'll mainly focus on the top three cloud services, starting with AWS, Azure, and GCP. Also, we'll focus on which cloud service is in demand and when to use what cloud computing. And at last, let me give you what is the future of cloud computing and which is going to be the future. To start with, let's try to understand few facts about cloud computing. In the last 10, 12 years, the cloud computing technologies have a very rapid growth even in this 2020 2021 2022 2023 we crossed covid followed by a crisis followed by a layoffs from different companies 2023 being one of the year which had a massive layoffs we have still seen that the cloud computing technologies have increased rapidly and that's a good point about cloud computing Currently, by 2023, we are still in millions in terms of the cloud computing market, but it is expected to reach 1.2 trillion by 2027. So four years down the line, we are going to see a rapid increase with respect to the global cloud computing value. And as of today, uh, let me be upfront to you. KSR Data Vision is a startup. It's a five year old startup. We hardly have 45 to 50 employees within KSR. We ourselves are using cloud computing for storing our data. Now, when we as a startup itself, we are storing the data in cloud. Just think about the all over the business, how the business is improving. There are banks, there are telecommunication systems, there are hospitals. There are a lot of companies and over 60% of all the corporate data is actually resting on the cloud. And this is definitely going to be increased another 50% by 2025. We, we almost touched 2024. In the next two years, we can still see that this number is going to keep on increasing. And the another important point you need to remember is out of 100 companies, 96 companies have already started using one or the other cloud service. And this is not a small number. 96%, 96 companies of every 100 companies have started using cloud services. Now, where are cloud engineers now? Do you think we have that much of people? And that is where it is actually putting into a supply and demand where we need people, but we don't have. Trying to be more precise about the cloud service, not taking in any particular order, these are the top three cloud computing services that we have. AWS being the oldest one, which was launched in 2006, followed by GCP in 2008, and the recent one is Azure. Now, these are the top three cloud computing services that we have, which is mostly used by most of the companies. Now, just imagine that these three are like a top three toppers of a school, right? So what happens between the toppers? Each one comes with a more features, trying to hold that position, right? The same thing is happening. There is a competition between be, between these three cloud services. And of course, just an argument like which is going to be the best, uh, which is going to be the best, right? So in this case, what I would try to bring to notice is every cloud service has a pros and cons, right? Maybe if I'm talking about a student, one student could be very good in mathematics or one student could be very good in science. So obviously for my need, Maybe I need a person who thinks very scientifically. Maybe I'll take that person. Maybe if I want a person who thinks uh, maybe with very sharp at calculations, I'll pick the person who's good at maths. So similarly, each company now has their own privilege of choosing which cloud service they need. And that is why we see that all three are in demand with respect to market. But still, AWS is actually recognized as one of the top cloud service where we do have 33% of the market share. Now, just because it is having a 33% of market share, uh, that doesn't mean that it is always on top. Maybe there are some companies who can afford to use AWS, they're using it, right? And the second one, if you talk about the Azure, it is also one of the second largest, which is contributing to 22% of the market share and followed by GCP. GCP is a third in the rank, which contributes 11. Now this 11%, we can't even neglect it because this GCP has now started showing its true colors because it is from the product called Google. You know how good the Google is. You know how the good the company Google is, right? Now to get one more step deeper, 
we'll see what is going to happen in future. We'll see what is going to happen in future. Well, AWS being the oldest one. Now I can say they provide everything they need to provide a, a storage. Yes, processing. Yes, web application. Yes, so it provides everything right. It provides a very vast services and being the oldest one. It is also trying to be always to its best, but there is a slightly uh, when coming to a pricing. It's a bit costly that we need to afford for it. Now Azure. Well, that is one thing which I need to talk about. It is it's very compatible with all the Microsoft technologies and we know that most of the tools which we use are Microsoft tools starting from either Outlook till the text you make in the teams. Everything is a Microsoft, right? We have a lot of Microsoft products and it is very compatible and today I can say is one of the stable and robust system irrespective of whichever company you are working on you can easily get adopted to Azure and that's the beauty of using with Azure services. Now let's talk about GCP. Well we can simply call it as a, a silent killer. What happened initially they were giving only preference to web application hosting so people are not aware of it. But now in this data driven technologies where the focus is completely shifting to your artificial intelligence AI ML now GCP is also being showing its true colors. Now they started evolving more because they started interacting in a very high level where we solve it for artificial intelligence and machine learning. Now today I'm saying 11% of GCP market share, but who knows in the next two years it can also be one of the market leader. The reason it is having more of advanced features and supports for AI tools. Now again, as I said, everything has a pros and cons. Now the question mark is which one to choose what? I'm not here to debate one is better than the other. But I can always compare and tell which is better for your use case and knowing all three. I, I can just say that you can get adopted to any cloud service. AWS being one of the oldest. It provides a lot of services where anyone can just just start uh, just start jumping and start using it. Of course, it's uh, it's just hits it at the pricing part when you really want to focus on the authentication and security part. Well, I can tell you upfront. There is no other company than Microsoft which gives you a better authentication system. If you want to protect, if you want to have a security, well, I would say the first choice will always be Azure. Now, in the recent times, where the focus is given to the AI ML, GCP is also into the picture. It is known for providing advanced analytics, machine learning, and the features which is now going to be in demand. Well, I just give an example. We have top three students. Well, as a company, if I want to hire one student, I'll not just look at the total marks. I'll start seeing who is going to be fit. The person who's going to think scientifically is going to fit in my role or the person who's very good at mathematics is going to fill my role. Well, all three are brilliant, but it all comes down and drills down to you who is going to make a decision. Whom are you going to use the same way? All three are in demand, which is one which you're going to use it for your company. That is what is the biggest question mark. Well, with all the research that we have done from our team, we have come with a conclusion of what exactly we can drive from this cloud computing. Take it from me. Whoever is working in IT, 99% of your working professionals will be asked or I can also use the word forced to scale up in one or the cloud in one or the other cloud service in the next five years. 2024 starting. Let me tell you. By end of 2029, you will be asked to scale up on one or the other cloud service mandatorily. That is going to be the first line in your job description saying that you should have a cloud computing knowledge. Take it from me. This is going to happen. Followed by whether to learn GCP or Azure or AWS. Uh, what am I going to do? Well, let me tell you one thing. Companies have started deciding which one to go for it. Well, if you know all three, I can straightforward crown you as king of cloud technologies. You know everything. Whether the client is asking you to build up a solution in AWS, you will the first you will be the first person to raise your hand. If the client is asking to build on GCP, yes, you still know it. Well, knowing three technologies, well, I can say that the demand for cloud computing and knowing all three, there is no one can stop you. 
followed by the next 10 15 years the demand for technologies will be keep on increasing and is expected to increase 10 x times and that's what i've been saying right from 2020 till 2024 we have seen a lot of hurdles followed by covid uh, i mean wave one wave two wave three again we have a crisis we had a job cuts 2023 being one of the uh, biggest year for the job cuts but still the one technology which has never ever fallen down is cloud computing technologies i'm not specifically focusing on aws gcp or azure but instead i'm just telling us that cloud computing is going to be in demand well all in all, you be a software developer, you be a tester, you be a uh, you be a, a engineer, or you just be a a web developer. What you're going to do? Every solution, every application, what you're going to build is going to reside on cloud, and that's what is going to happen in the next five years. Let me give you a fun example. You all know Prashant Neal, so basically is an director right we all know him now by now you would have also seen the poster uh, basically would have seen the thumbnail of this video we have salar we have kgf and we have ntr 31 now what is that one thing which you can understand from this is we all know that for all the three movies the direct director is prashant neal kgf really clicked and it was a one of the a very good hit movie. Have you ever thought why Prashant Neal did not use Yash for all the other movies? Have you ever thought? Well, if he had used the same person, maybe the story would have been different. Now, depending on the story, depending on the screenplay, depending on the character, depending on their features, Prashant has choose the right hero for the right movie. Well, in this case, you are Prashant Neal. You are going to choose the right cloud services for right requirement. Now, that's a use case which you can relate it. Depending on the need, depending on the business, you can start shifting your services within cloud. And that's what the three cloud services you can relate it to. These three, three movies where you can use according to your business need and there is definitely a war between all these three which is going to be the best in upcoming years but i would say you cannot replace anyone with anyone but still each one can provide you different features for your business need thank you so much for listening we'll come back with another video we'll talk about each and every cloud in detail thanks and please subscribe our channel